Hey guys, it's Plasma Scream, and this week is a very, very important week because we are finally seeing the return after four years of Yellow Lantern Hal Jordan, one of the best characters in the game to use as a carry, and one of the rarest as well because his challenge has not been here for four years. The only way you've been able to get him since then since the challenge has not been around in the cycle is from his pack in the store that is here sometimes which you have to pay real money to get real life money and you have to either get lucky from phantom zone from the highest difficulty crystals or get lucky from an nth metal per pack before his challenge i had only ever gotten him like four times ever. On my previous account, I got him three times, and on this account, I got him just once. But now, finally, this one right here, um, but now finally his challenge has come back, and I can actually say that I have gotten him available to be directly promoted for the first time like I've, I've ever played Injustice. First time ever. This is huge. This is like, this is such a big deal. Like, he's very, very rare. He's very strong, he is very powerful, and he can do all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to talk to you about that in this video. You're going to learn all kinds of things about Yellow Lantern. Some very, very cool things. So first, let's look at this sweet design. Like, goodness, look at this. The yellow and the black is just beautiful. And then the darker yellow too, and then the light yellow. It's just a lovely design. Like, the best looking Hal Jordan, easily. Like, this is just sick, you know. I love the little like the designs on the side too. See that? Really cool. You can see his yellow ring, and now let's get to his passive. So, <clears throat> if he is tagged in, right? If Yellow Lantern is tagged in, and an opponent tags out while he is tagged in, he will steal twenty five percent of their power, and it will go straight to him. It's like the bronze and silver Sinestro passive, except instead of them only gaining power, he is not only gaining power, but he is stealing the power directly from the opponent tagging out. So they don't just get to tag in and out scot-free, he is stealing the power. On top of that, he steals 20% more if an enemy lantern tags out. And that includes other yellow lantern, Hal Jordans, a Red Lantern Hal Jordan, and any Green Lantern character. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Jessica Cruz, all of them. All of them. And on top of that, whenever he fights an enemy Lantern, like the ones I just mentioned, he does 10% more damage to them. Now you might not think that's a whole lot, but when he has some pretty high stats, like mine does, and he has crit augmented, like mine is, uh, his special 2 is going to hit a lot harder. And that is actually going to be very helpful him for uh, the purpose of bypassing an Astro Harness user and getting the one shot on them straight through their Astro Harness. Um, and that is even more helpful for him with his very, very good 3 hit potential 3 KO special 2. And I will show that in just a minute. But many Green Lanterns that uh, you will see, many Jessica Cruises, they come with an Astro Harness when you fight them. Or a John Stewart shield, and they're very annoying, very hard to, to deal with because it's just you know tedious, and you have to wait a while for the shield to go down. And a lot of times she has like a really powerful special two set up, so it's just you know it can be very stressful. Oh, one second, uh, it can be very stressful trying to fight them, and he will be be doing ten percent more damage to all of them, and that extra damage will be very helpful in one shotting those Jessica Cruises. Just completely going through with the Astro and the John Stewart shield. Um, and a lot of those times you'll fight them, the Jessica Cruz will be very high promoted. Like 7, 8, 9, 10 with some very high HP to go along with that. And this is really going to help him out because she is notoriously difficult to one-shot. Unless you have like, I don't know, an Ares. Um, so that really helps him to deal with those teams. Kind of like a bit of a meta type thing, you know? A lot of people like to use Jessica Cruz, they put in Yellow Lantern to handle it, you know? It's pretty cool. 
I've already completed the challenge, you know, all three rounds. If you want to do it yourself. And I do recommend that you do it. This guy has not been here for, again, four whole years. Very, very rare. Very hard to get. If you miss this challenge, if you miss this challenge, you will not get him for possibly a whole another year from now. And you will not be able to directly promote him. And as I said earlier, the means of obtaining him without this challenge, very hard. Very rare. Not guaranteed unless you want to pay real money. And I don't recommend doing that. This game is very old. So, Nightwing, Green Lantern, Black Adam is what you need if you want to play. But we are just going to go straight into a match. Just so I can show you firsthand how good he is. Because I can talk all day, but it really helps if you can see how good he is. And let's see here. The yellow engine, Hal Jordan. I love using him with this guy right here. Need for Tip Black Adam. And you're going to see what I mean in just a little bit. And we're going to do Batman Prime for a little bit more damage. And this is how I gear him. So I wanted to wait to do this video for him to do max crit damage. Unfortunately, Survivor like hates me right now. I'm getting a lot of metal um, so much that I actually almost. Uh, can promote, not promote, but I can almost evolve my new to Black Adam. I promoted him to, oh, one second. Sorry, that's my partner. Um, I can, uh, I'm very close to being able to evolve my new to Black Adam. I just need to max out these uh, specials right here. And I'm very excited to do this because he has amazing synergy with Yellow Lantern because of this right here. This completely baller special 2, this very, very sick, powerful special 2. But uh, I'm going to have Astro Harness and two out of three fourth world gears on him. So he can be my tank. He will be a very good tank with that 78,000 health. I'm going to make my Batman support. Massive Death Clark, Claw Horse. Let's go from it. So you can tag in, get enough power for a special one. Throw it out and get the stun, get this, uh, the gear shatters, you know. All that good stuff. And this is important. Uh, we use Demon Blade, because I have 50% crit chance already. It makes it 80. Additional 30. Now over 100% guaranteed crit. And we use Race School Scimitar. So we tag in. We get two bars. Now, my Black Adam is not evolved yet, but when he will be, this right here, 25% chance to perform Lightning Damage Assist on opponent tag in. When he is fully evolved, that will say 100%. Which means every single time an opponent tags in, whether someone just got KO'd or they tagged in on their own, they will get hit with lightning damage. And this little moment of when the lightning hits them, they will actually be unable to block. So if you are in the middle of a special, especially one with a lot of hits on it, one that can KO a lot of people, like Yellow Lanterns, which can knock out three people with one special two, um, you can potentially wipe out an entire team with one special two and win the match very fast and they will not even be able to block it. They will not be able to block it. They will not be able to stop it. They will get completely destroyed and they will be helpless and it can give you very, very fast matches. Anyway, that is enough talk for me. We're going to go into a match. I'm going to do an epic ladder so you can just see for yourself. Just how good the setup is. My Black Adam is not even evolved yet. I can't get to that for a while. I have some credits saved and some metal, but I actually need to save that for um, some promotions. Okay. So unfortunately, Injustice 2 Superman, if he tags in, he's going to be annoying. So there's that. But the other two are going to get destroyed. But yeah, I'm planning on getting Black Adam ready to be evolved. I just can't do it yet. I gotta wait a little bit. Alright. So I'm gonna tag in. Um. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's annoying. That is very annoying. Why would you do that? Like, seriously, dude. I'll just go ahead and do this. We're gonna stall time with special one. We're not gonna click it just yet. We're gonna stall time. And then we're gonna tag in. 
Hopefully the astral harness is gone. It is amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Look at that. Almost destroy the manhunter through his blue phase. And there he goes. He's dead. I am willing to bet if I was max crit, he probably would have just died right there. So unfortunately that was an astral harness and just two suit men. But we did manage to shatter the gear. And we did manage to deal with them after. That was very ideal. Could be faster, but you know, that's about as good as you can get when you're fighting someone you need to use a special just to get rid of the, the barrier and then also his passive too. That's just annoying. That's tedious. Hate that. So second match. This should be a lot easier. Back in. And watch what happens. Oh, come on, dude. You know what? I'm going to stay in. Just wait. Oh, so close. Yep, just white electrical comments, nice. He's only zero, very tanky. Just wait. And go. That's annoying, but what can you do? Alright, spin some off. 90k. 90,000 damage. Not even max crit. Pretty good. Unfortunately, that little bit of health increase from the passive might have saved him. Otherwise, he probably would have got one shot. Yeah, Elite 7. I, I bet that definitely saved him. Any other character probably would have got one shot by that. It's two matches in a row, Astro. It's kind of unfair. Alright, let's see. Boom! One shot. Just to demonstrate special one, I want to just show you this too. That's a lot of damage too. Like, look at that. Look at that bleed as well. I'm gonna just stall that a bit of time. Yeah, look at that health. Look at that health just completely deplete. Also, look how little damage I'm taking. And let's finish them off. I'm definitely swiping, but I guess lag is messing me up here. But you saw the amount of damage from that bleed DLT. Nice, we got some free credits. Alright, fourth match. Hasn't been too hard. Let's see what else we get here. Okay. Almost a one shot. And then another Astro. Like, seriously, why am I fighting so many of these? I'm just gonna just do this. Get another one. I'm gonna lowball it so I don't take much damage. Okay, let's take in. Uh, I'm gonna just wait for this to go down. Awesome. Tag out. And he should be dead now. He should be so dead. Yep, there we go. Now you'll notice there, the special one actually did bleed damage, right? Which made it even easier for me to get the one shot. And he's dead. I basically supported my own special two with the special one bleed to make it hit even harder. So even if his astro harness wasn't down, you know, if, if even if he still had it after the gear shatter, he probably would have just got one shot there. I couldn't tell if he still had it. I just know he died, you know? I just know he killed him. All right, last match. I'm not having any problems, you know. There's a lot of astro harnesses, which is annoying, but we're dealing with it. We're doing well. We're winning, so I'm happy to see that. Batman Prime's actually doing his job too. Appreciate that. That. Okay, this is annoying. I can't crit anybody, and they all have a uh, damage reduction. So I'm just gonna like tag in Batman and just stall some time. I know I can't stun, but I want some DOT. That's a lot of damage. Wait for it. And let's see what I do. She's gonna survive that, dude. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm just gonna stall time again. Damn, she didn't die. 
I am so dead. Okay, I gotta, I gotta wait. Yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. Man. Unfortunately, this dude is putting a hurt on me. I might lose this. This is tough. Um, so I'm not getting like any hits here, but. Alright. Okay, we're fine. Oh, fourth world. Okay, you should be dead now. And take out, take out, take out. I gotta get out of here. Put some bleed on you before I leave. Oh, what the heck is that? Let's go upset too. Wait, wait, wait. Take out, take out. Oh, dude, I tagged out. Come on. I might be dead. I'm not going to lie. I might be dead. Yep. Jesus Christ. I'm going to try my best, but no promises. Come on, Black Adam. Come on. I don't know where my my uh, combo went, but I'm not losing. I'm not losing. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's why Black Adam's the goat. I just chained it over and over until he died. That was a ridiculous match, man. What was that? Full Red Sun, the final match. It's not even a common team. Like that's just ridiculous. Was that legit? Let's see that team. I can't tell. Maybe, 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 maybe not. I don't know. Fourth world. This crap. What is this, dude? Good goodness. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do another letter because that was just unfair. Like you saw that I got Astro Harness over and over and over, and then a Red Sun, Green Lantern, Red Sun team. That was just unlucky. Come on, sometime today. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure I'm gonna send up three charges here. I'm gonna literally check to see if you have Astro Horn. Anybody? Yeah, listen. This is so annoying. I'm just gonna keep checking because I need to get a match where I'm like one shot in the whole team. And if you just keep giving me Astro Harness uses, then I can't show that. Like, this is a showcase video, and this is being very rude. I don't know what everyone's obsession with that gear is today. Like, literally almost every single fight. Okay, this is... This is good. Nobody has Astro on this team. Nobody. Right? Right? Alright. Jesus. One shot. And wait, wait, okay. One shot, and he's dead. Watch him, boom. See that lightning strike right there? That lightning strike actually struck him and prevented him from blocking. You cannot uh, block if you get hit by that. At least the AI can't. I think you can if you are uh, if you're quick with your block, but the AI can't.
So you can just abuse that. That was pretty good. If Batman hadn't blocked it, it would have been a complete one shot. Whole team. Alright, I got one more. Ow. Dude, Batman is so hard to do this with. Alright, that's pretty good. One. Look, at, I crit him through his block. Do you see that? Alright, come on. And. Dead. Oh, he lived it. That did not much damage. I feel like he, uh. Had some damage reduction gear or something. Just, just a little bit. Otherwise, maybe that would have killed. Yeah, he had something on. I don't know where it was, though. Well, at least they're not using Astros. This is going a little bit smoother. Okay, I gotta actually be a little careful here, so I'm gonna let her do that. Okay, tag out. Alright, here we go. One shot. Oh, she's dead. Boom! Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Go. Boom. Alright, I gotta be careful. I know I wanna shadow that Astro, but I gotta tag out, because that. Ow. Just all time. Okay, we're gonna wait. Just gonna wait. Wait it out. Okay, tag out. Tag out. Tag out. Come on. And she's dead. Yep, she's dead as hell. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very ideal. Shattered Astro and then killer. I will say Batman Prime is doing his job today, and I appreciate that. B10, dang. Okay, let's see. Nice. Oh, that's... Oof, nice. Good timing. You're dead. And you're dead. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very ideal. Give me some free points, too. Some credits. Take that. Three hundred eighty-four thousand damage. Jesus. All right, last match. This is going a lot better. This is a. I wish we got this ladder, but the first time. That would have been a much better showcase. I was just very unlucky, but this is going so much better. What? Okay, so we got Harley and. Okay, I might die on that. I'm glad you. Am I gonna die to that here? Come on, come on, get it together. I can win this. I can win. Don't worry. I'm not dead. Just we're just gonna do it to him again. Come on, hit it, hit it. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm gonna do some DOT. I'm just gonna stall time. Crap. I got it. This uh, deep freeze is very annoying. Okay, that's good. Come on. Come on. This is actually super annoying. Jesus. Come on, come on. I gotta get that, that combo.
Don't block, don't block, don't block. Ah, oh, you're dead. Oh, why does it last match have to be so sweaty? Thankfully, Black Adam is just him. Goodness. Why would you do that to me, man? No energy? That's a shame. What the hell, man? Look at this. Why would you do this to me? And why are you using random League of Assassins set on this guy? Two out of sixteen. All right. So we, I talked about him on offense, and this is how I use him. Um, of course, he's gonna be even better once I get his crit damage promoted. Uh, the reason why I have him late six, even though I can actually promote him, uh, as you saw, um, he, I'm getting like pretty optimal amounts of battle rating uh, right now. If I go any higher than this. Like, he's going to be max damage soon, with like 58,000 damage. If I go any higher than this, um, I'm going to start fighting uh, much harder teams with even more Astro Harnesses and more annoying um, fights. I mean, you saw like the last match that I had on both of those letters. Ex you're going to expect like matches like that a lot more often, and also like earlier on in the ladder. And that's just annoying and tedious and just ridiculous. We, we don't want that. We want these smooth... And, you know, chill, easy to win matches with, you know, and, and that's just, we don't want to fight that every time. That's, that's just annoying. But, uh, to get the good amount of battle rating that I want, and I do have right now, I will have the promotions for this team, be Elite 3, Elite 6, and Elite 0. You know, Batman, Elite 0, Lantern, 6, and Black Adam, Elite 3. And he will be eventually, uh, fully evolved. I honestly should get on that, like, so soon, but... I need to save up for Jessica Cruz promotion to right through is like two weeks. That's pretty important. Uh, if you want to use him on other teams, um, he is a Justice League character for what that's worth. Um, but I think honestly, what you want to do is try to make him stronger to make his special two stronger. So maybe if you don't want to use Batman or you want to use him on a different team, you have some other options. Um, you can use Lex Luthor Prime. Um, maybe even combined with, like, Inserted Green Arrow, you know, if you want, Animated Harley Quinn, you know, if you want, you could do Insurgency Harley Quinn, do I have, like, right around here, there you are, you know, you can do that, and then you can make the tank, you know, whoever you want, doesn't really matter that much, you know, just somebody that was, you know, kind of good at you know, being a tank. So, and just be lead zero. There's not, not a whole lot of requirements, you know. I will say, this is kind of funny. If they tag out, you know, he will steal their power. And then whoever tags in will just eat machine gun bullets. So that's kind of funny. Um, so let's talk about him on defense, right? Also, I want to mention one more thing. Um, although he cannot chain his special 2 from the Master's Death Cart, the first hit will miss. Um, which is why we have to use Race Circle Scimitar, so we can tag in and block and go special 2 that, that way. Um, if you use the Master's Death Card on him, let's just pull that out real quick. You could um, do that. The first hit would miss, but then it would basically be like he would have a 3 hit, you know, 2 KO special 2, which is still amazing. Like, I'm not even going to pretend like that's bad. Like, yeah, the first hit missed, but... It's so, like, good still, because 3 hit 2 KO is still really good. It's not 3 hit 3 KO, but it's still really, really good. So, like, that's not even a problem. Also, I want to mention, like, the last hit of his special 2 has a circle tap minigame, which I love. And what makes it even better is it's, like, a 20% per tap minigame. So you can just, and then you're done, 200%, just like that. Like, 200%. It's so quick. It is so fast, and I love it. I'm just, it is so good. Anyway, I keep delaying this. Not only is he good for offense, but he's really good for defense, too. Always, I have a theory that he is. I haven't tried it yet, but 
I can only imagine that he is. So, I think there are a couple ways you can do this. Number one is as a carry. And so I would probably use like, like this. You know, standard carry gears. And then let's get like a flashbulb Aquaman on here. And then let's do Fourth World plus, I don't know, Hard Darkness. Something like that would be good. And then Flashbulb Aquaman with the standard Batman Engine Helmet, Killer Swap Fan Card, and Ingo Toyota. With, of course, it being optional, Branch and Jado. These are all good setups. I think another thing that could be really cool, especially if you have him evolved, um, is if you use him with New Two Black Adam on defense. And I would actually probably use uh, this to give him even more health. Because as a metal, he already has high health, but this would give him even more because of these two gears right here. Both given 40% health increase. Which would be really nice. But this would allow him to, uh, when he's evolved, his lightning strike would happen 100% of the time whenever an opponent tags out. And this would make it so if Yellow Engine tags in, and he goes to Special 2, and he, kill, and he kills somebody with uh, Special 2, the next guy would tag in, get hit by the lightning, and then get blasted by the rest of Special 2. And uh, they will not be able to block it. Um, and it will just be a really nice combo. It's also the fact that Black Adam, because he is new fit two, does qualify for the Shazam passive, as you can see right here. New for the two and Justice League teammates. So that is one way you can use him. I'm actually kind of excited to use this because I bet it would be pretty good. Like on paper, it's good. I know Black Adam is good on defense. And I can only imagine Yellow yeah, Lantern would be two. You can have like most carries have this setup right here with Shazam. Whether they're Justice League or not, and they'll be pretty good. But if, just, if they are Justice League, then they're even better. So one more option is if you actually use Yellow Lantern as a tank, um, I would probably do like this right here. Um, I think that could be good. Of course, Ninjato is an option. I'm wondering if maybe like this could be good, you know, because the special one is very deadly. The bleed actually is very strong because he has a super high damage stat of base 1400. Um, so I'm wondering if this could make the special one bleed like really dangerous. You know, also his passive actually has really good synergy with Batman Ninja Helmet. If an opponent tags out, he steals their power. That power goes into his damage reduction from the Ninja Helmet. Um, so that's like really good synergy right there. But you can use uh, Yellow Lantern for the tank and then get a carry of your choice. Um, well, it doesn't matter who you pick. Let's just uh, see what we got here. Admittedly, I do not have a whole lot of uh, good Justice League carries yet. Uh, I'm working on it. I don't know, man. Whatever you want. Like... I mean, if you hadn't promoted, you can do Injustice to Superman. You know? You, you could do... Uh, like Astro Harness. Master Death Guard. Change to him. If you did if you did have him promoted, I, I don't want to. Because I'd rather use him as a tank. I do like him as a tank a lot, um, but you can do this. What else would be good? Maybe even like Black Adam as a carry. I feel like that could be kind of cool. Like same gears as Astro, Totem, Deathheart. That could be kind of cool. Uh, I feel like if you did something like this, what's one that we got? Um, I don't have him. High promote, yeah. I still need like two more copies and I can get only three. And then I will promote him. But I feel like if you did... Let's see. Like this. This is a really good setup for him. This right here. And then you use... Like... I would I would do like the Master's Death Cart with Shazam. Like this. Or... And I bet this could be good too. What if you did like Yellow Lantern? With those two gears and Master Death Guard. So that way he's a tank. And this has direct synergy with Ninja Helmet. 
these two gears right here. Because when he tags in, he gains power, you know? And when they tag out, he gains power too. So that could be really sick, you know? I bet that could be good. And that could honestly make a pretty little neat team. Whenever you tag in, you know, you have uh, the power drain from Nightwing. And whenever they tag out, you got Heart of Darkness right here, punishing them with damage. You can actually see right here. Uh, if opponent tags out, they receive damage equal to 20% of the equipped character's damage. Shazam on defense actually has a lot of damage. So that's a lot of damage from Heart of Darkness, just from them tagging out. Like, that would actually hurt a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, whenever they tag out, Heart of Darkness can screw them over. And also, passive from Yellow Lantern. That could be effective as well. So I feel like that could be a pretty cool combo. Um, also, Yellow Lantern, whenever they tag out, he steals their power. Whenever someone tags in, he power drains them. So they could be a really like suffocating team uh, if you did that. So I feel like that could be a, little, a cool little defense team. Um, I'm wondering maybe if like I, I can throw something else together here. If you did something like this, like that middle laughs, right? I feel like if you did like Quake Engine, Astro Harness, and Totem, that could be pretty good. And then. If I did that, I would honestly just go over here and do this. Because that's a really, really good uh, setup right there. And then this is fine. But of course, uh, that'd be good too. So that right there would be really nice. Because then you have the Master's Death Cart, given power. Uh, Tangy Totem, given power. And then Brainus Ninjato, given power. That would be a really, really nice setup. So. Basically, any time any of these guys tag in, they are gaining power, and uh, they all have uh, very threatening effects, you know, from Shazam's specials on tag in, uh, same thing from the Batman of Laughs, uh, and also the fact that his cards, if he's evolved, are going to come into play, and those things make him just crazy, especially with Quick Engine, just a really good setup, especially with Astro Arnest too, like with KO immunity, he just becomes a demon, um, and then Yellow Lantern too. Um, what's cool here is if, like, He's taken some AOE damage, area of effect damage. He will have gained power. Um, whether you're fighting like a Luchador Bane or like someone using the Master's Death Cart, Batman Ninja Lord Joker, Arkham Warden's Deadshot, anybody with any kind of AOE gears at all, whether it's like League of Assassins Knives, Fourth World Mace, uh, the Master's Death Cart, this will make the Ninjato user gain power, as you see up here, give 300% of received AOE damage as power. So this can make Yellow Lantern gain power while he's tagged out, and then when he tags in, he will get the Savage Robin go across the screen to knock the enemy down and also give them bleed. And this will allow uh, Yellow Lantern to go for a special 2, and if yours is high damage and high crit, like mine is, that special 2 will do a crap ton of damage, probably just straight up KO them and then do a lot of damage to the uh, opponent tagging into. So that would be a really good little combo for Yellow Lantern to make him threatening, even as a tank. And that's a cool thing Ninjato does, and it has super, super good synergy uh, with Batman and Laughs because of that Savage Robin. But yeah, that is, uh, that is some suggestions you could do for offense and defense. I'm actually going to, you know, just try this out. Let's just show it off, you know, just see how we do. Okay. Just just have some fun, you know, just play around. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So Alright, the star of the show is Yellow Lantern, so I may as well tag him out. Can you stop walking, sir? Jesus, come on, man. Alright, this is cool. He actually has a uh, 2 hit combo under. See that? I took like no damage. Yeah, he's like not even hurting me at all. Bonk. 
do I knock him out? Go ahead, hit me. Bunk. Bunk. Try me. Easily. Easily blocked it. Okay, let's finish her off. Take number 11, because why not? That's annoying, but it's going to trigger a show no matter what. Alright, let's see if I knock her out. There we go. Alright, fun little match. Yo, Lantern was just tanking special twos and basic like it was nothing. That was pretty good. Uh, but... This team would be even better if I had uh, Batman and Laughs promoted and evolved. He would be really good because then his cards would work even better. And if Savage Robin would do more damage and he'd just be a lot more threatening. Um, but yeah, that's that defense team. There are other teams you could use, but that's just, you know, me throwing out some ideas. You can use whatever you like. I will say I've also been enjoying a uh, while I've been augmenting him. I've been enjoying this uh, a chill little team on Survivor just to get my augments and stuff. I can show you what I was doing there. It's pretty decent. I was using this uh, nice little yellow team. There we go. So I had, for most of the matches, this is what I would do. I do Master Death Car and Totem with Ibis Stick. And then Hawk Girl, I would use. Sometimes I do uh, the Astro Fourth World thing, but uh, I tried to set up a little bit ago. And that was pretty good. And I want to, you know, kind of recommend that too. And it was this right here. And the reason why you do this is so not that. Mainly in like the fights thirteen and fourteen, um, special one is disabled, but this will give you enough uh, power generation to get a special two. And the main reason you want that is so just to go for a special two, not for damage, but just to stall time, just to stall a tag out. Because once you go into your Astro Harness user, the shield will go down after the first tag in. But uh, the second tag in, you won't have it unless like you took damage. So it means you're vulnerable. So I like to have uh, something like you know that on one character because then they can use special two and get like some uh, some easy you know tag install. And anyway, we use this on Classic Scorpion. Um, because it gives you an Astro Harness, and then these two gears right here will give him enough damage reduction combined with his passive right here. Uh, this is 50% reflect damage plus the 40 from Scarecrow's Mask, which makes 90, plus an additional 30 from Killer Croc card, um, which will make him immune to specials while his passive is activated. While he has the fires up uh, for 10 seconds, which is actually a pretty long time. Um, he will be in, immune to specials while blocking for 10 whole seconds after he tags in. And with Hawk Roll, you can just tag in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, as much as you want. Um, and basically just block specials forever and just never take any damage. Astro is just there in case maybe like the timer goes out and takes some damage and it you know hurts a lot. Or maybe like, um, I don't know, you, you block a basic and you know, because they don't go for a special for some reason. It's just nice to have. You know, you need an Astro with somebody, so. He doesn't need Batman Ninja Helmet, which is what I usually use um, on these kind of characters. But because he actually has quite a lot of Reflect, he doesn't even need this. And you don't have to use that, so you get to use Astro Hearts on them instead. So I think that's pretty cool. And another reason why I like it is because while he's got his Astro up, he can go for his Heavy Combo. And it's kind of funny, his Heavy Combo can chain into itself, like, over and over. So it's like... It can be an infinite combo sometimes, which is pretty nice for stall time. You can just do it over and over and over until you can tag out to Lantern again. So yeah, that's what I've been using, you know. These guys right here. It's been pretty fun. I've enjoyed it. But yeah, that is about all I can say about Yellow Lantern. He has a really, really cool character. I like him a lot. I think he looks sick. I think his passive is sick. I think his special two is sick. Um, 
heck, he's been his, like, super movement special one and decent. Like, he's just a really, really cool character. Um, I do have him Elite 6, and if I were to recommend a promotion for you guys, I would probably say, on the average team, Elite 7, Elite 8 is good uh, for his stats. If you are going to use him with Noob 2 Black Adam to try to do the, you know, knock out the whole team with one special 2 strategy, I would have him Elite 6, like here. If you're not going to use him with Black Adam, if you're going to use him with someone else, I would do Elite 7 or 8. Um, just depends on how you uh, set your team up, but that would be good for you. Um, it just depends on the team. Black Adam has a lot of stats, you know, and he's, he's got to be evolved to, for it to work. So, unfortunately, that is a lot of stats on him and makes you have to cut your promotion a little bit. I do have two extra promotions. I have, you know, you can see one here, but I have another one. Because I actually did the whole challenge and I got some extra copies. Um, where is he? Yeah, right here. I got. I see. I got two copies right there. Um, but yeah, that's about all I can say about Yellow Lantern. I hope you guys uh, enjoy. I hope you guys learned something, learned how to use him better, learned what kind of teams to give him. Um, you know what kind of gears to put on him. You know the synergies and the you know the way the passes work and and all the you know cool ways to use him. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.